Lesson 3.4. So students, you're going to go into your Google Classroom and you're going to see Lesson 3.4 posted for you. It's going to have the instruction sheet, it's going to have this document for you, and it'll have the video which you're watching right now. So you're going to click on the Lesson 3.4 to open it up. It opens a separate tab for you up here, okay? So we got to go up here and we're going to go to File, Make a Copy, we're going to get rid of the .xlsx on the back. And then we're going to use the arrow key on the keyboard. Go right in front of the L, delete all that, and put your first name. So you have Brian Lesson 3.4 or whatever your first name is. And you're going to hit OK and you'll see the new tab open up. If you want to get rid of the old tab, by all means, go right ahead. So then you don't get confused. Okay? So once again, I've done the typing for you. So you're going to start with step three. All right. Step three says insert a link. So in cell A4, so I'm going to go right here to cell A4. Insert a link. So I got to go to insert and link. Now if you let it spin and search here for just a minute, it finds it automatically for you. The University of Michigan right here. It does it for you. All you got to do is click on it, hit apply. Then you click on cell A5 insert link give it a minute let it find it look at that does it for you and then you hit apply now it leaves it black and underlined that's okay I don't know why it does that but it does so you're gonna go to insert a link for all of these give it a second and let it search go to the next one So as you can see in the video, I've got all but the last one done. So I'm going to do the final one, insert and link. I'm going to click on it and hit apply. Okay, so they all turned out blue except for the University of Pennsylvania, and that's okay. See how the link is up there for you? You can click on that and it open up the web page to the school. That's okay. If you have more than one that's black like that, that's no problem. Okay, so now that you're done doing that, you're on step number four. Step number four in the packet is hard to see, but you're going to click on the row three here, and then you're going to click bold to make that bold for you. Step number five is called format column width. Now this is a little bit different. Instead of going up here and doing this and spreading it out, we're doing this a little bit different. If you go up on the A here, you see to the right, there's a little. if I hover on the A, there's a little drop down here. I'm going to click on that. Okay, and it wants me to go to resize column. And the number it wants me to type in there is 150, and I'm going to hit OK. Now notice how it cuts some of this off. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Because in step number six, we're going to learn about wrap text. So all your stuff is up here to click on. I have to click more on mine. But the text wrapping is right here. If you hover on it, you'll have horizontal align then vertical align, then text wrapping. So click on text wrapping and you want to select wrap. So here's overflow, wrap, and clip. We want wrap. Now notice how when I wrapped it, it moved the University of Pennsylvania onto two lines and the University of North Carolina and the University of South Southern California. Okay? So it did that for us. Okay? Step number seven italicize and change the font color of cell B4 to red. So B4, right here, it wants italics, and then the font color it wants as red. Okay. Now this next step, number eight, can sometimes trick the student, so I'm going to walk you through it. You're going to use the format painter. So right up here is a paintbrush. I have this cell selected. I'm going to click on this paintbrush. Now what I have to do is I have to go to the middle of cell B5, I click and I hold down with my mouse, and I highlight right to the middle of Los Angeles, and I let go. You see how it does it all for me, makes everything red and italics? If you just click on this cell, so I'll do it again for you. If I do the format painter and I click on it and I just click here, and then I try to highlight, it won't do it. Okay? You have to click on the cell click the format painter 
and then you got to click and hold down and scroll down at the same time and let go so it does it all at once for you. Okay. Step number nine, bold and increase the font size of cell A1. So just A1 needs to go to font size 18. Okay. So I'm going to select size 18 and I'm going to bold it. This is how your final project should look. Go ahead and turn it in. It's real quick.